It's time now for our Make Me Your Mayor feature. And today, well, we speak to the Democratic Alliance's Cape Town mayoral candidate, Gordon Hill Lewis. Now, the governing party and the EFF, which is the third biggest party in the country, are yet to announce their candidates for the city of Cape Town. But Mr. Hill Lewis joins us now live from Cape Town. And thank you for your time. Welcome to the South African Morning. Now, I had a conversation, uh, you know, sometime earlier on with the ACDP. And they're saying that under the DA's leadership, um, there's much inequality within the city, um, crime and gangstering seems to be on the rise. That hasn't been resolved. Why should Cape Townians make you their mayor? I think your audio is still muted there, Mr. Hill Lewis. Please check it for us uh, while we try and get an answer from you. There we go. Yes. After 18 months of you, you must, uh, we, we still make mistakes, don't we? <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for having me. It's great to be on. Uh, let me say Cape Town is the one place in South Africa that, that basically works, that gets the basics right, and that's making progress. On crime, we have paid using our own resources, our own uh, rates base and, and tax base here for a thousand extra law enforcement officers to be deployed in the worst hotspots. So... Cape Town is also getting safer. Yes, it is. Uh, a, a, there's a lot of crime and gangsterism in Cape Town, but it is getting safer thanks to the interventions that we have done to put law enforcement officers into the most dangerous hotspots. But the point is that even though Cape Town does work and gets the basics right, we are saying that there is an opportunity to do so much more in Cape Town, more services for the poor, more public housing, more uh, law enforcement officers into the worst spots uh, so that people have the peace of mind that Cape Town is a place, a great place to raise their family yeah. uh, to Cape Townians to the DA for, for another term. So I'm, I'm working very hard and not taking a single voter for granted. Yeah, and what on the positive, you're not taking any vote for granted, Mr. Hill Lewis, the other argument from residents themselves, from South Africans, uh, they're lamenting that usually around this time they do see politicians' visibility. They see the campaign trains, they get given T-shirts, you know, they, they get visits in their homes. But after they have, you know, given their vote, uh, it seems politicians are nowhere to be found. Government does not prioritize service delivery. Uh, what's your response to that and what will you be doing differently? Well, in Cape Town, service delivery is the best in South Africa. That's not to say that it is good enough. We've still got work to do. Uh, but, but, you know, every person who moves to Cape Town, and there are many thousands moving to Cape Town all the time, will tell you just how things are in Joburg or the Eastern Cape or the Free State or, or whether, wherever they have come from. Uh, and so it's wonderful that, that so many people are coming to a successful city. It's a sign of the city's success. But it is absolutely true what you say, that we have got more to do after the election to go back to those communities and, and ensure, are you happy with the services that you're getting? If you are not, what can we do better? To listen to the experience of communities on, on basic services and, and try to fix them. But the, the principle, the standard we set for ourselves is higher than anywhere else in South Africa. And we are saying, we want you, wherever you live in the city, to be able to feel that difference and see that difference in your streets and in your community, to know that this is a place where the DA governs. And because of that, it is working and going forward. We we'll leave it there. And thank you so much for speaking to us. The DA's uh, uh, mayoral candidate for Cape Town, Gordon Hills Lewis.